Hey everybody, I'm Argofump, and this is Marcella Moon's Secret on the Hill. There is a fancy jewel over here. Uh, can I borrow it? Can I borrow this gem? I promise I'll bring it back. Are you crazy? That's my lucky emerald. If I give it away, this whole place could come crashing down at any second. Come on, Finn. Be cool. It's really important. Could you manage without it for a little while? I don't know. I'll tell you what. You help me with these jokes I'm writing, I'll let you borrow it for today. If you don't bring it back, you'll be in big trouble, missy. Thank you. What do you need me to do? You need to help me with these punchlines. Oh, man. Oh, I love it. Oh, let's do these jokes. What has hands but can't clap? Well, it's the audience listening to your terrible jokes. Okay, the answer's got to be a clock. Okay. I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? Oh, let me see. Now the balance? I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm... Candle! Candle! It's a candle! This one's candle. What kind of band never plays music? I... I... Hmm... Rubber. Rubber band. A rubber band. Hey, that's a pretty good joke. I like it. Okay, what building has the most stories? A library. I'm not sure that's a joke. I think that's more of a riddle than an actual joke there, Finn. Uh, library. What kind of rock is as light as a feather? Rock music? Hmm. C S R A K M H O. I I hmm. That that word only has two vowels in it. Um. A horse. Uh, a Mara. Um. I I. I have no idea what the solution. Okay, a rock that isn't heavy. Um. I, I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna bring in my trusty anagram solver. Let's see. Okay. So C S R A K M H O. A crankamaso. Shamrock. A shamrock. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's a shamrock because we're in Ireland. I solved all your riddles! Hmm. That you did. Okay, you can borrow my most prized possession, but you'd better take good care of it. Yay. So that has been added to my inventory. And can I talk to him about anything else? Nope. Okay, so you can bring up your inventory by pressing uh, the space bar. Space bar. You can also bring up uh, this menu by pressing escape. So it changes the music, uh, the sound effects, and uh, it looks like the inventory controls as well. All right, so let's see, what can I use this for? So can I use the jewel here, perhaps? No. Can I use the compass here? Well, here's the backside of the compass. Wait a minute. Perhaps the jewel goes over here. Yes. Does the jewel go here? Where do I put it? In this spot. Okay, so the instructions are to arrange the gem so there's one of each color and shape per column and row. Oh, man. So this would be difficult if it was just uh, shape, I think. So let's see. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. Jeez, controls. Calm down. Wow, these things are moving very crazily. Hmm. Okay. I have to click and drag the pieces around. But those those pieces are going crazy. Um, yeah. Gosh, this might even be a difficult puzzle. Okay, how do I back away and restart the puzzle? Okay, so did backing away uh, reset where the pieces were? I think it might have. Okay, one last try. There we go. Okay, so let's see. So I need one of each shape and uh, color uh, per column and row. 
gosh. Okay, so there are four stars. There are four of these diamonds. Four diamonds, right? Four hearts. And then... I don't know what the other shape is. Let's see. It looks like these ones are already in place. If that makes sense. Those ones are already in place, so I can't move them. Oh, okay, no. This one I can't move. This one I can't move. It'd be nice if I could move that heart, but it looks like I can't. So, um... That sort of helps. So that means a red piece has to go here, and a red piece has to go here. Assuming that those two columns are already filled up, and these two rows are filled up. So the two reds have to be here. So because this is in that 3x3, three three, it means we've got a red here and a red here. We can't have a red there and a red there. So red here, red there. Where are my two remaining reds? Okay, so one's a diamond. The diamond can't be here because then we'd have two of the diamonds in the same row. Um, so then that means this red goes over here, if I can get it to be perfect. Meaning this red, I don't know what you would call that shape. Okay, that red goes there. I think that's that's the only way we could do it. Okay, so this uh, blue is already in place. Uh, we've got that red in place and this green in place. So we need a yellow here. Where's my final yellow? It's a yellow star. So we need a yellow star there in the bottom left. Okay, you can kind of move these pieces around. So I'm trying to move those pieces perfectly. Okay, so we need a yellow and a green in this row. Uh, obviously the yellow can't go in this column because then we'd have two yellows in that column. So this, this needs to be a yellow. So this is, it's not gonna be this yellow, it's not gonna be the big diamond yellow because then we'd have two diamonds in that row. So it has to be a yellow heart. Get that blue heart out of the my way. Thank you, blue heart. Yeah, oh wow, that yellow, perfect landing too. So what green is gonna go here? The green star, I think the green star is gonna be it. Majestic music. Okay, trying to get that green star. See, that green star is kind of touching these other ones, even though it was not really next to them. Come on, green star, be nice. Okay, let's get some of these other pieces in place. Okay, so these two uh, columns are almost done. I need a blue here, blue heart, blue heart to uh, finish that particular column. So then I need a green thing in this particular column. It's not, it, it could be this. This just looks like a, a rectangle. Um, I think it's this diamond, that type of diamond. So that means the green here, uh, the final green's gonna have to go there on the far left. If I can move it. Come on, green, you love me. You know you love me. It doesn't actually like me all that much. Uh -huh. Okay, so pretty simple here. Now we just need to get the yellow in place. And then the blue in place. And I did it! Woo! Yeah! I got a key. So I pick up the key. Thank you, thank you very much for giving me uh, that, Flynn. Uh, there's a keyhole over here, remember? Oh man, Marcella automatically puts the key in the keyhole. I don't even have to kind of look at it. And this gives us a map! Oh man! Woohoo! Map time! Come on, please, map, be for this. Ben Bulbin Mountain. Hmm. It does look like a map of this town, but we've still got a couple of things we don't, we, we can't interact with yet. Like, that's locked. I don't know what that is. I don't know what my rope would be used for or my compass. That's the compass when it's upside down. And gold key. Can I use a key here, maybe? No. Mm. Well, maybe we could go back to our friend Flynn McCool and give him back the, his prized possession. Can I? Can I? Can I use the jewel on him? No, I cannot. Okay. Well, can I talk to talk to her about fixing the display? No. Talk to talk to George about the display. No, George isn't there. George isn't there at all. Well, it's still cool that we solved the puzzle and got a map. I think that's still pretty cool, even if nobody else wants to talk about it. <laughs>